So this question says a circle in the xy plane has equation this. And again, I always recommend that you rewrite the equations for yourself. So we have x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. And again, this is a circle equation. So hopefully you remember that the generic circle equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, which means just by seeing this equation, we already know that the center, right, which is h comma k, is equal to uh, negative 3 comma positive 1, and the radius r is equal to 5, right? Because r squared is 25, and 5 squared is 25, so r is equal to 5. So which of the following points does not lie in the interior of the circle? Okay, so this is a great question. So I think what I would do here is plug in picture. Of course, unless you have a graphing calculator that can graph the circle, um, you can just throw it into your calculator and then test these points out. But let's say we don't have a graphing calculator that can graph a circle. Um, but we do know that the center is at negative 3, 1. So we just go 1, 2, 3, and positive 1. Again, the trick to this is always to I'm gonna put a point there, although we know it's not actually a point in the center. Um, is to try to make your uh, your separation here between units as equ as equal as possible. And then if our radius is 5, that means I would go up 5. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're up here. I go to the right 5. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So we'd be here. Down 5. So that's, you know, 0, negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4, so that's down 5, and to the left 5, right? So that's negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and negative 8. So it's not perfect, but pretty much my circle is going to look like that. So which one of which of the following points does not lie in the interior of the circle? Well, let's see, negative 7, comma 3. So this is 3 and this is negative 7. That's right there. That's inside the circle. How about negative 3, comma 1? Well, yeah, that's the center, right? So that's definitely inside the circle. How about 0, 0? That's also inside the circle. And then 3, 2, right? 3 and 2 is way over here. That's outside the circle. So answer choice D is the right answer. So I really love using plug-in picture because you get the visual and it can be super helpful. Um, again, if you just graphed this, you could also get it. I'm, I'm sorry, if you graphed it on your graphing calculator, you could also get it. But I really do like to just graph it for myself. Again, the trick is just to make sure, you know, as best as you can, to try to make these evenly spaced. And mine aren't perfect, but they also aren't too horrible. And you can see that it worked out.